it saddens the heart of every testifier when their stories were not believed despite all efforts and hard work enforced to make people to have a rethink and move backwards unvictimized. We now present to you the testimony of the American woman who was duped by men of God until she met with evangelist Chukwebuka Anozie Obi, the spiritual director of Zion Prayer Ministry, Lagos, Nigeria, who did not ask her to pay money to see him. We would also like to acknowledge MC Hallelujah for his visual in our recording. Please watch this video to the end and subscribe to Kibris Got Talent if you are not a subscriber yet. Meanwhile, like and share the link of this video with others to watch. Mommy, just you fine. <laughs> ah! Mama, let's meet you please. Your name, where you're coming from? I'm Mrs. Chime. Okay. Odera. They call me Odera. Okafo. Omokuchi. I'm from Imo State. I'm married to Anambra. Okay. Aguata. It's in Ifite. I'm coming from U.S. I got to know about Zion in U.S. through my niece, who lives in New Jersey. Okay. And that's how I got to know Zion. Since that time, I've been hooked hmm. on Zion. Because, I mean, the man of God is too much. He's too wonderful. Now, coming to Zion, mm -hmm. when you got to Zion, how did you feel? I feel wonderful. I feel like Tom. I feel like I'm getting something. I feel like I'm learning something. I feel like I'm hearing from a man of God, a man that God is using. Because I've been to a lot of pastors. I've been to one that ripped me and my family. That eight million he took from us. He stole from us. And he all the pastors we go to every time give money, bring money, tight, offering this, this. Not in Zion. Hmm. Man of God does not ask you for any money. You don't need money to see the uh, evangelist Kobe. You don't need money. All you need is just appointment to come and see. And he doesn't need, you don't even have to tell him anything. All he needs is just your palm. Open your arm. Open your palm. And he will tell you your life, who you are, and how to fix it. And that's the most amazing part. He comes with solution. Hmm. Not just, not just a, a prophecy. He will tell you, listen, your yoke is down, your, your yoke is broken, your, this, your breakthrough is coming through, your this is coming, your favor is coming through, you're going to be well, you're going to, God is healing you. Even last night, I was listening to him over the phone, he said a woman just delivered right away and he named that child right away, mm. immediately, <laughs> you know. So he's a man that God is really, really using, using him. And I pray that God will continue to use him. That oil that God has put on his will never run dry. God, anyone, anywhere where they are calling his name for any evil, Father, let's send down your fire and consume their altar. Let that altar be destroyed because they want to take away something from us human beings. A man that is healing us, a man that is telling us the truth, telling us what life is all about. That's what he is. Listen, and that's what he is. Listen and listen and listen and listen over again. The people in America, people in Europe, people in Asia, people in outside of the country can come down and appreciate the gift that God has given to us as Nigerians. And we Nigerians cannot appreciate what God has given to us. Giving the glory to the devil. I don't know whether you 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 don't you, you don't know that it's God. Because if the devil can have those power, what about the supernatural king? So if the devil can pick somebody to use, what what about the supernatural mustai, the Yahweh? What about the Domitra Hancha? What about the Kunaman on here? What about the great lion himself? What about Chukwa Biyama? Are you trying to tell me that he cannot pick somebody? He has picked this man. He picked him. And you are there condemning him. Mama, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you for for your time with us. Let me ask you this one in a quick. Yes. You've been here, you've come to service, yes. you've seen. Uh -huh. Which of the testimonies you've you've heard that trigger you like Lord? My dear, um, there are a lot of them. One the man just he picked a man from Abba. 
Abba and said the man was like gave his family to his brother to live with them because he, he, did, he didn't have any money to feed them anymore. Mm. And when daddy uh, gave him prophecy, he made money. Millions. Hmm. Two straight times. Millions. He testified. That is that, over 300, yes. almost 350 million. Yes, million, I, I yes. And there was a guest just the other day. Daddy gave him a bag of medication in the dream to distribute. She now a distributor in, in, in River State. <laughs> I mean, the girl was so excited. So everybody want that kind of favor. Because it's not every day you get that kind of favor. God picks people. You see him to pick people to favor. And we are very grateful for okay. that. Now, you know, I want to know because some people that are even watching me and you now will say, I have paid you money. No. Or they have paid you to say all this. And what message do you have to tell those people that are criticizing this man, Evangelical Bukano Ziobi, this great man of God. They don't know any better. That's it. They do not know any better. If they know better, they will say, let's come and see. You can't criticize something you have not seen or heard. If you want to criticize, come in, hear him and see and hear the testimonies. Then you will know whether it's arranged, whether it's, it's real or not. How can you criticize something you have not seen or heard? It's not possible. No. So let them come in into Zion and they will see that God of Mecherafancha, Okuchirafancha, Nahuchirafancha, Ogwacherafancha too. We add that because he is a healing God and he uses this, our, uh, our brother, this evangelist, this man of God that they want to criticize, they want to say all kinds of nonsense about and uses him to do all this. Nothing no mega mm. they cannot do anything to him and we continue to pray that anyone wherever they are sitting calling on his name in any evil altar in any evil shrine against him sending any incantation against him we say that god almighty mm. <laughs> nothing. I believe that God is 100% on his side and on the side of Zionites everywhere in uh, Jesus' name. Mom, you, you, just, you just made me so emotional that I, I have to, you know, like, it pains me that most of you that are here in Nigeria doesn't know what you have. No, they don't. Especially our Igbo's people. Mm -hmm. The Igbo people, we don't know what we have. That is why I said one of my videos that it's very difficult and it's going to be difficult that you feel the Igbo's land will be like Dubai because there's no unity. We don't love ourselves. If it is other tribes that have gotten this gift, yes. you would have seen how they will cherish it. You would have seen how they will love it. They didn't pay me for this. I didn't pay her. She is here. She's testifying. I want you to come. Let me tell you something else. Okay. In U.S., We've been patronizing all Yoruba churches in the U.S., not to mention names. But God forbid that one of us open one in the U.S., we will not go there. Rather, we will bring it down. We will criticize. So Igbos are always like that. That's why people play on our intelligence, because we give them ourselves to mess with. Because we don't love each other. We have no love for each other. Rather, we hate. Please, which is very bad. Try to understand her. What she, what she tried to explain is that in the US, there are other churches, tribes that own churches there. They go there. Yeah. And their own brother doesn't have what, like the one around them that they know. That if they have, they will cherish it. Mm -hmm. They will also um, encourage the person. That is what she meant. Yes. Please, let's encourage him. Yes. Let's encourage him very yes. Bukano Ziobi. Stop criticizing. And continue praying for him. That's all. God bless you. There is nothing they can Thank do. Thank you, but ma'am, you don't have to tell them to. You don't. You didn't tell them to, to subscribe, to share, to like the video. And now they will do that uh. as soon as they see my face. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much, mama. You